Agent would in. be like shared force with Pavel, I think. But let's just get into the game right now. Pavel versus Mabel here in the quarterfinals. We're sitting on Mabel's point of view off the beginning. He's going to be going quickly from yellow to mega. Getting the rail as his first big weapon. And now he's probably thinking about that uh, LG. And this is Mabel's map. He always likes to pick this if he, if he possibly can. And he gets big results on this map too. So we would see... We'll probably see uh, Pavel struggling against Mabel if he's hitting his shots. And he does hit the opening rail. Pavel biting back, though. Moving in. He's not afraid at all. Oh, and he just oh, goes whoa. and takes the fight. What? <laughs> what are we seeing today? <laughs> what is this? This is just a suicide frenzy they're going on. But he spawns right on the red armor. And it actually proved to be genius because Mabel is on the other side of the map. He got the spawn going. He's not in the lead, but he's got everything that he could have hoped for. Crater Sunday. I mean, it definitely looked like he did it on purpose, so... You think so? I just think it's really risky to do because if Madball was actually charging towards the room, he might not have spawned on red. No, I, I'm dubious of this whole yeah whole issue. Either way, Pavel is in a pretty darn good position at this point, and you know he's got all the he's about to have all the weapons once he drops for this rail. If he yeah, there it is. And with the Mega coming up, he's got a good position to defend it from. Again, all the weapons to do so, and he's gonna oh actually missing a somewhat easy rail on Mabel, and that might open up an opportunity for Mabel to, to feel confident enough to peek in for a little bit of damage, but any damage at this point is somewhat negligible, and, it's, and it, seems, it seems as though Mabel realizes that. Mabel's delighted though, because it's 0-0 zero, zero again. He's not chasing a lead, so he can, take his, he can take as much time as he likes. He can go for overtime right now if he likes. Yeah, yeah that's true. Do whatever the hell he wants. So let's say he managed to just get himself another yellow, red, and mega spawning simultaneously. He might be able to snatch one of those big items. He's going up at the top. Powell's surely be able to read this. Or he's, he might meet him halfway there. And Mabel's backed off. He doesn't want to challenge just yet. Well, he's sitting on the yellow armor. Maybe he shouldn't be standing there just now. Well, Pavel, he cannot conclude that moment and turn it into a kill. And so Pavel's actually missing a fair few rails at the moment. And that, of course, is going to allow... Mabel to get back into the game because some of these rail angles he's waiting for I mean he could instead try to close the distance try to pick another weapon actually get some damage in but he, you know by not hitting those Mabel is getting back into the game he's going to come at Pavel with a, a challenge much sooner than later due to all those those missed opportunities let's say and a nice little rail from Pavel did, did it actually him push off? him off? it, it did. did oh Mabel you're in a whole lot of trouble is the next rail going to hit? Mabel actually connects it and it gives him the chance to escape so although he didn't get an item, he survives, and it's basically what the game is about for him at the moment. But now he's tricky. Uh, Pavel switches over to that lightning gun. Mabel is going to be in a lot of danger, but still he will not die. Really? He's somehow holding on to this. Yeah, that fight was incredibly awkward. Pavel, though, he's going to go in for the push on Why that mega. He he's going to get it too. And now problems really start <coughs> to mm. get underway for Mabel as Pavel, again, he's got 200, 200 and... There's there's a weapon problem for Mabel. There's an armor and health problem. There is a lot of problems that he's got to deal with right now. And Pavel is hap happy to just just kill him. Exactly. That's what Quake's about. <laughs> well, we've got the yellow here, Pavel. 200 armor now. He, he, he wants to capitalize. He just wants to steamroll over Mabel right now. Secure the map as early as humanly possible. Mabel, oh, he's going to be backing off. Probably won't have time to get over to red before Pavel picks up this item. He goes through the teleporter. It's nice. Rail from Pavel. It's just, his rails are so useful for him at just completely stopping Mabel in his footsteps. He can manage to find another one there down by the rail spawn. And this is a very key map for Pavel to win. If he wins this, he's just feeling incredibly comfortable. Again, it's Mabel's map. It's the map where perhaps Mabel could find Pavel being a bit fish out of water, perhaps. Because every other map, Pavel is just super solid on. And you know, he's, he, of course, is solid here too. But this is the one edge that Mabel could have. And here commences this rail duel. Who's actually going to win this? It looks like, I mean, Pavel has the position on red and on mega. So this is really horrible for, for Mabel. Really horrible. He manages to get onto the red, though. He's still got that uh, rail out. Has he not got the LG or anything? Does he not want to make a switch to that? Well, he had very little health. Steals away an item, and I think that was a bit of a waste. He might as well just go hunting for yellow armors, get some health, and leave Pavel to deal with the major ones. Oh, God, he is getting caught out enormously. A beautiful trap by Pavel. And he's going to find him once again up with the red armor, and he won't even get to deny it. Pavel can continue his aggression now. 
Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's one of those really hard choices where the you know that you'll get the red, but you're not going to get out of there alive. And it's mm -hmm. it's kind of this weird thing that, that happens because you think, oh, maybe I could somehow get... Maybe if he misses a shot, maybe, you know, so many maybes, instead of just going for that sure yellow follow-up. Oh, good rockets once again. He didn't have time to pick up another one. And here's the spawn. He actually oh. gets rocketed onto the red. Fortunate there, and it's going <laughs> to allow him to get a kill with the LG. Here's the 50 health bubble. He's going to be able to get top yellow armor, depending on where Pavel spawned. Oof, that was so damn close. If he, he gets back in the game because of that, and I think he's going to, because he's going to get this mega, and he's going to be able to get the red as well. That is a ridiculous way for the swing to happen. Yeah. Mabel didn't really deserve this at all, <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. It's mean. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> Pavel gave it to him. You can blame it on Pavel for that rocket. That rocket pushing him into red. But Mabel, he didn't get the last red. He's definitely going to be going up against the Pavel, who is somewhat stacked. Wow, what an angle over there. I could barely even see Pavel just then. That was just majestic. And Mabel, he's probably not going to get the next red. But he's going to be able to continue securing those mega health. He needs to hunt down Pavel, though. He needs to speed things up a little bit. Five frags, just less than four minutes. Oh, it's go time, Apple. Yeah. Make use of this. Apple was born to, to play this defensive situation and just get out of there again and again, be the most annoying guy in the world. Ooh, might just get caught here though. Mabble's going to find him close quarters. The rocket does come out for Pavel, but will they be good enough to keep him alive? No. Bam. No. Well, this is good for Mabble. That's exactly what he needs. And Pavel definitely didn't secure himself a victory of only 6 0. This is extremely difficult for the deliberate murder player. Well, there you are, that rocket helping him secure the mega health. He's going to back away. Mabel's going to have the top yellow, and they're going to definitely reunite a little bit later on. Cosmo not. That's, that's all I have to add. You but still think he's going to take this, though? I, I think Mabel's on a bit of a charge at the moment. Mabel's got to be careful. He really is, and it's going to be very interesting to see whether or not he's going to be able to evade damage for the next minute, because once he gets to around eight, eight and a half minutes or so, and if there's still no frag from Mabel, his chances are incredibly bad, but look, he's, he gets the frag. And this he can. This is like unleashing the floodgates. Stuff starts to really come much more easily now because he, he knows where Ma uh, Pavel spawned. Red. He knows what weapons he has. He knows what stack he has. And so it should be pretty simple to get the, sh the shots. Just got to hit them. Pavel, where is he going? Mabel, he's just, he's being very aggressive around the map. Ooh. He could have found him through the teleporter. This is actually okay going up the bounce pad for Mabel. He should have the health to deal with this. Come on, charge through. Can't find the last shot. Let's go have a look at Pavel. He was left with 14 health. The 50 health was taken or denied actually a few moments ago. So it's probably spawning in the next 5 to 10 seconds. Oh, Pavel's going to go for a bit of a risk here. and this Probably won't pay off. Okay, he's, he's leaving now because he, maybe he missed time. I'm not sure, but... Maybe he just changed his mind. It, Either it, way. Yeah, he, you know, he would have known that Mabel just took the red and it's like, okay, well, it's going to take him four seconds to get here. Let's get out. This is really good to see Pavel's perspective. And yeah, there it is. I mean, Mabel will get the opportunity to hit shots, but Pavel's job is just to reduce those opportunities as much as possible. And Mabel's going to be hitting, go. though. Come on, Mabel. This is an excellent performance. He, he kind of looked like a really average player for the first half of the map. Yep. Just getting fragged over and over by Pavel. But now he's managed to get the control and get his own opportunities. He is doing an excellent job. We've got the Mega. How much longer is this going to continue for? Because he's only got a 1 minute and 20 to tie the game up. Indeed. It, what the it, hell is Pavel? When he got pushed onto that red with that rocket when things looked all you know oh so terrible it was like a gift from god it was yeah. perfect timing for a mo for something like that to happen because it enabled him to get all the items of course and what? power was so low so, so mad ball come on forget about these yellows for now and let's just go and do some damage to pavel he can't find him at all where has he gone i know it's, it is like he's on an empty server right now and that is the beauty of a player who really knows how to stay hidden. And that's so incredibly hard to do because Mabel sees no sign of Pavel, but Pavel's hearing sound cues, and here he is now trying direct. to chase him down. Oh, this is this is tricky. It's a direct chase completely. Pavel didn't go for the item. There's a jump up here from Mabel. It's going to be direct all the way. LG is doing the job, but can he find the killing blow? He has to chase directly. Where's he gone? He's gone down to the bottom. It's going to be five to six, 25 seconds. He's looking for the glory spawn. Is he going to get it? Looks like that's a no, but red armor can be taken, and now he's got 15 whole seconds to try and find Pavel. He takes a dive down the bounce pad. 
Oh, he's found him. Oh, Pavel, you're in trouble right now. Those two direct rockets, a bit of LG right at the end, and this is going to be six oh. to six. And this could, it's going to leave enough time for Pavel to delay the spawn and secure him that overtime. Marble with a beautiful comeback here on Sinister in the first map of the quarterfinals. Yeah, and it's not over for Pavel just yet. It is, of course, his disadvantage, but it is overtime. So he's, he's going to maybe be able to find some crazy opportunity. Problem for him is that he doesn't want to ever make any plays unless it's now or at the or, or, or at the next the beginning of the next overtime because he needs time if if it goes wrong to make the follow up of the spawn to get the frag to fra to refrag mad ball and then get control and then get another frag to yeah. be able to be ahead. Basically, so, he can't get a frag now and lose control. Exactly, he's got that, to just stay hidden now. So he wants to keep control for maybe, maybe another sixty seconds and then get it because then it's like way too late for Pavel to do anything about it. He's chasing that rocket, didn't hit it. Oh, he misses the jump. He would have liked to go in there and go for a rail shot. You can see a small shake of the mouse. But it's fine. He does need to worry about it. And, and that's the thing. At the moment, when you are Marble in this situation, you've got overtime against Pavel. Oh, crap. Panic, panic, panic. He's got to stay really calm. And it's difficult now that he's just given away a very big item that Pavel was desperate for. Oh, wow. What a shot Okay, there. that may have changed things. He's going to dive down on Pavel. There's one second left until the Mega's up. Rocket will hit him, but... Nice. Pavel's not doing too badly. Yeah, Pavel's doing really well. Perfect defensive plays on the Mega. Marble getting a bit too caught up in trying to make the chase instead of trying to just maintain control oh of the items. And is backfiring now because Pavel is all over the major items. And Marble cannot possibly get fragged in the next 30 seconds. He cannot even... He doesn't even want to see Pavel for the next 30 seconds. He just needs to stay alive, build yeah, up that stack overtime. to get back into the game. And now Pavel, he's done everything he needs to do. He's just got to find Marble and pull the trigger. Oh, there's some brilliant combos that we're getting from Madball. Mega will be taken by Pavel, but it's a, a half decent amount of damage done by Madball. Oh, this is so risky for Madball to keep going oh, for these shots, but he does it. I love it. Oh, oh. another one. We're going to get overtime number two here in the first map of the quarters. Uh, Madball's sitting on as good as 100, 100. Let's go have a look at Pavel. He was the same until that yellow got taken. This is epically close. I mean, these guys, of course, have been in the Grand Finals before, and this is a quality of game that can be in the Grand Finals, mm -hmm. and we're seeing Pavel go for the drop. Now, Red and Mega both pretty much at the same time, and so, oh, it's going to be that Red armor. Pavel decides to just take it easy and go back for the Mega. They're both very uh, anxious about this. Whoever wins this map now is going to have a really good chance in the second one. They're going to have the momentum going, because it, be it can be pretty demoralizing when you lose a game in the overtime. It certainly is quite demoralizing. And let's see now, because both players have quite a good stack. They haven't really, like either of them have not really hit many shots in the last minute or so. So, that, so each one is feeling like the other is pretty darn strong. So they need to get that, you know, that money engagement. Okay, Rails, Rails, crazy exchange. Just the power gets two for one instead. That Mega is still there. And Hubble was wondering, when are you going to take that item, mate? Are you, are you coming back to this? So he's got his eye on on Mega at all times. Oh, good move from Pavel. Can he hit the rail, though? He does! That is huge. That means he's hit three rails now, and there's not really been any big pickups at all for, for Mabble. So Mabble's in a really fragile spot. Pavel's just set himself up to win in this second overtime, but he's got to try to get that finishing blow right now. There's not long left. I think Mabble's going to have to go for overtime number three. Oh, grenades is going to give him all the intel he needs. He's done awesome damage, in fact. The Mega's up. So Pavel's going to take it. Is Marble going to try and protect this red? He is. He's sitting on it right now. One second left. LG from Marble is absolutely sick. He hits the rail. One more for the kill. He's oh. going to land it with five seconds to go. Marble about to secure the first map in the quarters. What a play, Marble. What a play. Yeah, that was interesting. I, it ended so suddenly. I was okay, definitely overtime number three coming. This is what Marvel wants, but he defended the red. And he defended it with honor and pride. That was just. I think you can see you know, really what Pavel was thinking because he God. hit those three rails, and he really. I think he really felt like okay, I just hit a lot of damage, and mm -hmm. I know that. I know my opponent can't really have picked up more than maybe 50 in resources in the time that I dealt that damage. So after he picked up the mega as well, he was like. Okay, he's sitting on the red, so he's going to have plus 100. But I should be so far ahead of him now. If I just commit, it was I can the win LG, the fight. Man. The uh, Marble did a really crazy sidestep to his left, closer to the bounce pad. 
Pavel was like, I know the red's up. You're going to go and pick it up. And even though it's quite a simple dodge strategy, it worked amazingly. Pavel not expecting that kind of flair from Mabel, and that gave him the damage advantage that he needed to start whipping out the rail. So that was... That was awesome. I don't know what the next map's going to be, but if it's, if it's even half as good as that, we are in for an absolute treat. We're on Blood Run, and I'm, I'm actually going to switch over to Pavel off the beginning of this one. He's got the Mega. He's actually going to get two major items straight away. This is... The tables have turned. Oh, and will he get a fast frag? I oh, misses the rail follow-up. And... The, oh, no, he missed two rails there. If Pavel, you know, got the first frag in the first 20 seconds, yeah, that is... Yeah. That <laughs> it's is, like, that I is, want revenge, uh, and there's nothing you can do about it. But he, he is keep keeping up the damage on Mabel, and he's got to be so incredibly low, so just soft and supple, already for the taking right now. Just any bit of damage should really put Mabel in a hor horrible spot. But Pavel's going to allow him to get that Mega, and Mabel might just be able to get a Money Rocket to really turn the tables, but what is great rail. rail. All right, fair enough, Pavel. Yeah, he means business with uh, rail shots like that. That was that was hot. Oh, drive-by rockets! Is he gonna have a rail to follow up? He's looking for it. There it is, right between the eyes. Two zero now for Pavel. Oh, these wonderful plays. But this is the kind of stuff that was going on at the beginning of Sinister. We saw what Mabel did uh, at the end of that, and we remember very, very clearly. Mabel, though, he's sitting on the mega. He's actually gonna be able to pick it up. He's trying to push forward, but Pavel's trying to shut him down as well with the railgun. LG on LG. Mabel has got the rail this time, but he doesn't even have enough time to pull the trigger. This is so bad for Mabel. I mean, yeah. he's just he's 4 0 down, and if you look at the stack that Pavel's able to achieve now, it is just there is nothing for Mabel to really do to get this back. You know, Pavel goes in for a bit of aggression there to just set himself up for a stronger take on the next red armor. Unfortunately, though, he missed the missed shot there, so. If Mabel does hit one rail, things could get a bit hairy, but there's the quick rocket jump. Wow, Whoa. great shot there. Okay. And another? Ooh, the trades, the trades. All right. So, but still, this is the thing. Pavel has a lead of four frags, so he can just decide to sit on this and just say, I'm just going to take... You can you can have the mega. You can have the red. I'll just take what? yellows for the next eight minutes. Where are these rails coming from? Ma Mabel's doing it a lot quicker than I thought he would. We've got red in a second. Top yellow was taken. Oh, that was just a little bit too slow. He's going to take a rail in return. It was looking really good up until that point for him. Ooh. I think that was a direct grenade. Not totally sure. I did not hear the thud of it. Oh, yeah, it must have been because that next rocket seemed too easy. That is hard for Mabel to deal with. I mean, mm -hmm. it was already a situation where if Pavel didn't see an opportunity, again, he's just satisfied to just wait and play with those yellows. But good little rocket there. He's going to go for the finish, and Mabel is going to go down. So 6 0 already in two, <coughs> three minutes. What do you do against that? Against this Pavel? is it. You, that's that's you where it turns. You lose. You get rocketed onto the red armor when it's 6 0, and then you start an epic comeback. Although there's right. seven whole minutes for him to do it. I, okay, I know you like your predictions. It's not going to happen. But that, that, is, that is eerily specific. I, sa I said there was going to be a tiebreaker map, so I'm expecting Pavel to take this one. Uh, of course. Oh, wow. Love the snap. 7-0. <laughs> this is currently very difficult for Mabel to come back from. He needs to secure some kind of control really soon. He's not really having much of a chance. Let's, let's watch him for a little bit. Powell just drops down on him. He's like, nope. It is not your time yet. And he still hasn't picked up the red yet, so he's got items to fall back on. Yeah, and that was really good LG from Apple, though. Mabel's really hitting a lot of LG hmm. today. Oh, we're going to have a follow-up over here. Rockets very close to getting a kill on Pavel, but he survives. He's looking to see if he spawns in the same place again. Now, Pavel's actually going to have to be a little bit careful right now for this red. Oh, what? Mabel's sitting on the red armor already? That is terrible for him. There it is. Quick little rocket up. He's stacked once again. I say stacked. He's not really at all, is he? <laughs> look, at, look at Mabel. I mean, that's the kind of move he knows it's over, and he's just jumping at Pavel with the shotgun. So, I mean, 10 frags to go. There's no way in hell Pavel's going to let that go. I mean, in what on universe? On Blood Run especially. This it, is just yeah. so unlikely. If it was Toxicity, Air Walk, yeah, sure. Likely. <laughs> Definitely not. Likely. Uh, not that. Yeah, I mean, I'd say so. If you have full control, 10 frags is not yeah. that difficult to get. But um, this is a different story. And already he's been shut down. So I feel like Mabel's going to already be looking forward to the, uh, the following map. 
Like in the plasma. Melting that armor to Madball. And there set. you go. Forfeit. Madball's forfeiting that one out pretty darn quickly. It was a very close map one, but uh, map two was left a lot to be desired from Madball's side. It was fight. all over in the first minute and a half, really. Basically, yeah. Uh, it was, it was it not the, the spawns, red and mega for Pavel. That it definitely didn't decide the game or anything, but it, you know, Mabel. D this is the thing. Gave it up fast with Blood Run. You d you kind of don't have to do that. I mean, you have to just. This was an old thing back in in the OSP days. Uh, there was Pro Q3 DM6 and there was the pillar spawns. And mm -hmm. for a long time, everyone was putting tournament results on DM6 to the pillar spawns until Kula came along and he's like, it doesn't matter if you get the pillar spawns because the, the idea there is that if you get the pillar spawns, you're really behind because the other guy can get both Mega and Red at the start. It's like not okay, even yeah. spawns, really. And on DM6, it's really hard control-wise already. So, but Kula came along, he's like, it doesn't matter. The better player will win. And yeah. then he started, of course, winning games from that position. Was that when there's 15 minute time limits and stuff? Though? Yeah, that's true. It gives you the extra <laughs> time that you need off on that map. But we've got Tokyo as the tiebreaker here between Pavel and Mabel. Winner of this is going to go through to the semi finals. I think they'd be on their way to playing against Evil, from what I know. And Ash is set to play Cypher in the semis if their games go according to plan. Yep. So, again, a decent start for Pavel with all, almost all the weapons here. All weapons he needs. The rail isn't going to be so useful here at this next red armor, and that's really what's going to concern him. But of course, he's going to get the opportunity if he wants to to take it. But there you go. This LG, that's the thing that matters. And you can see why. This Mabel's trying to take that fight from above the stairs because he knows how powerful it is. But Pavel, he just deals with it very well. Oh man, he was hitting a lot. Let's have a look. What's he do? 40%. That yeah. is some solid stuff from Pavel. And now he's just taking mega health. Mabel's going to wish he wasn't in this room in just a moment. The rocket's going to land. Oh, even the jump up. But Ooh. actually, Pavel kind of fluffed that one a little bit. And Mabel, he might be able to get himself another kill right now. Can he land the rocket eventually with one, one point of health? That's insane. I, I really like how Pavel had the balls, let's say, to just rocket jump up. Because I feel like that's not something, you know, Pavel six months ago would have done. I feel like Pavel six months ago was a safer player. Yeah. Well, he didn't actually land the rocket on the rocket jump, so maybe he won't do it again for the six <laughs> yeah. months. That, that definitely wasn't what should have happened. Mabel trying to push him away. He's going for some pretty greedy rockets. He's eventually moved in and he's hit bugger all. Uh, where's Mabel going to come from? I think he's going to go for a leap onto Mega. Surely? I'm oh, looking at the top. There we are. Mabel's got Shirley. resources. And here goes Mabel for the drop in. Here he finds an unsuspecting Pavel who appears to be dealing quite well. Those are the rockets you should have been hitting, Mabel. You, you would be in the lead if you'd hit rockets like that. Oh dear. And here we go again. You know, Pavel's got a better position on the red. He's quite flimsy, but of course, Mabel can't close that angle fast enough and keeps going for the fight. And this this is the problem. If Mabel, he can play it slow. He can, What's he can he play doing? it slow. Yeah, what is he doing? But he's not. He's, dude, why? I, I, I get the feeling that he, maybe he's misjudging how low he's getting Pavel. You think, if I just charge him with a machine gun, he's not going to have anything. He won't even be able to jump down to Mega. But that's not the case. And so now yeah. he's... I think that... Um, Map one, Sinister, just took the life out of him. It, it looks like Blood Run all over again, and, and it's the exact same principle. It's, it's uh, the, the point that you can play it really slow. Just Even if you get a worse start, that's fine. Just keep the score very, very tight, and it's totally cool. Y you need to be better in the whole endurance stamina thing when it comes to playing these cups, because especially in Mabel's position, it's likely that you're going to have more than one intense game like Sinister. And when I've seen Plasma winning a series off of Cooler, he could clear it all afterwards. He would lose to, pe to 1,500 ELO uh, people. I'd be like, what the hell? I yeah. can't even think anymore. Because he has to I push so hard. And I think that's what's happening to Mabel. His brain's just fried from how much uh, thought and focus mm. and effort he had to put into that first map. But he's managed to make one frag. He might be able to make another one happen. Red will be taken nice. and the rocket... Uh, just to get himself another point on the board. My th my theory is, this is that okay he's, he's, uh, this is he's stubborn with his playstyle a bit, and that, and if he's not so if he's not feeling super focused and patient on this day, then he, then he'll just be a bit more stubborn. But as you can see, he's really good at this style, and when he does actually get the first couple connections that he really needs, it's like he's woken up all of a sudden. He he, he really forced this onto Pavel. 
And now it's actually kind of working. And now Pavel's in a lot of danger. And he's pushed to the defense. Can he make it work? Oh, the rockets again. Oh, man. They save him. He, I, I was looking at his uh, movement there. And he kept on moving into places where it would be very easy for Pavel to land the rocket. Although that could also be credit to Pavel's rockets pushing him where he wanted him to go. But there it is. Eight to four. Finds him up the bounce pad. And again, Marble making some questionable plays here. Even after a small burst of world class. Yeah, I, I think the best way I can describe it is he's just, he is just forcing his playstyle on situations where perhaps it's really not the best move, but he's just forcing it. And it is kind of kind of working, but it's not so efficient. And we can see Pavel's able to always just get the refrag or always bring things back under control because Mabel's... Oh, oh, he's, oh, is this actually going to work? He's doing it. He's making it happen. He didn't take any rockets. What a risk to take from Mabel. He's got enough time to get over to the red armor and at least look to see if he can do damage. Oh, yeah, Pavel doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Good position from Mabel. There's not much. Pavel can't really do much from this position. And he does Good try stuff. to go for it. And he's going to die because of that. And That's now, a bad frag to give up. Yeah, it, it's really super bad. scary now because look at the delay between the items. That is, if Mabel doesn't start going crazy aggressive, he should have the next few minutes really just under lock and key. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yellow's been given up. Fine, can deal with that. It's got to be careful that Pavel isn't taking a green armor and shards because that would put him to 100-100. Mabel's got to land a rail or something very soon just to keep him keep him at bay and to keep him vulnerable. So, so far things are definitely feeling a lot better for Mabel, but mm -hmm. he's not really getting the damage, the kind of only intermittent halfway. damage he needs out onto Pavel to control his stack. So Pavel should be able to make a challenge soon. So it, it's more more or less up to, up to Mabel to still make the move because Pavel doesn't want a challenge for a major item. He doesn't want to put himself in a disadvantaged uh, position because he's got the lead. He doesn't need to. Oh, but he's going to go for the Mega though and this could get bad for him. He, look at all the damage. Wow, Mabel is a good chase for the teleporter. For some reason, Pavel didn't expect it. He didn't fire anything towards the teleporter exit. Oh, there it is. This has got to be a kill, but Pavel just about edges his way out of the room. Marble wants to take the yellow armor, but he knows that there's too close a time difference between uh, the red and the yellow. Oh, he moves in. He gets the item. 16 health left. Marble, are you able to get out of here? Oh, Pavel's just left the zone completely. How much health did he have? I think both players have made a few, like a couple of missteps in, in the last minute. And first it was Pavel, then it was Marble, and now, you know, it's kind of evening out by both players making small mistakes. And. The game is still so tight that you know Pavel's going to be in the better position, even if he has less stack, for the same reason that it, he doesn't need to get frags. Mabel has to come to him, and there's plenty of armor around for Pavel to take. This is surprisingly plenty of time. I feel like we've played a full 10-minute game already. Yeah. The amount of action that we've been seeing here, and Mabel again an aggressive play on the shards misses the rail though. Is he going to rocket jump up to that yellow before going on? No, he meets him on the other side of the red. He's going to have to get out of here and just take Mega, get yellow oh as soon no. as possible. And he's stubborn. Yeah, that is really that stubborn. What is he doing stubborn. still there? Oh, I have 5 HP. Let's just go for that one last rail shot. Uh, yeah, not, not worth it at that point when you're on a really steady comeback. I and mean, that's, that's the kind of fright again. Another, another game-changing moment. Yeah, let's see what happens from this point of point because he doesn't really have the time to play it too slow now. So he's gonna he and he lives in the aggressive moves. So let's see if that that actually works out another one more time. Pavel's controls looking pretty good at the moment. Pavel's gonna have to think of something a lot better than that if he wants to shake Pavel off. Okay, he's hit a rail and he managed to get himself the yellow armor. There's probably a couple of greens he could get as well, but the shards, not worth it, Madball. Not worth it at all. Two and a half minutes left now. Uh, Pavel's starting to do the jump over to Mega, like his old buddy Evil with him. All right, so red was taken. Probably about 30, 40 armor gone from that. So Pavel just wants to play the risk limitation game where mm -hmm. just... He just wants to. He doesn't want to really go committed for any fights, but he just want. He do, but he does have to keep some damage up onto Mabel. But as we can see, this is the big risk that is that's happening. That he is opening himself up to getting railed, and Mabel hit all the shots. So Mabel did just make for himself the opportunity he needs to get back in the game, and he's gonna try and tie a nice tidy bow are. on top. And there it is. He's got to go quickly over to that mega health. He's got time. There's plasma coming in from Pavel. He knows that Mabel would have been ultra weak. Three frags, just over a minute and a half. Bring it on. He needs he needs the red first really badly before he can really start going for these frags. He's going for yellow, though. If he gets one kill now, 
then he's going to be too weak to follow up. And and this that was the problem. Like you said, should have been red. Miss time. It's oh, a miss time. No. And Pavel knows that. He's like, why the hell are you sitting in there? I've got the item here. I've got a huge advantage. And eventually, with a little bit of trouble, he makes it onto 11 to 7. Now, does he want to end it here? Just get an LG frag. This this is over. This is game right now. Mabel, when I was judging him and saying that, he's completely worn out. He started making some really excellent plays after that. But I feel like there was a couple of missed opportunities, small hiccups. But let Pavel get back into the game and re-extend the lead to something more comfortable. I think with Mabel, if you're going to draw one of those, if you're going to have, like, let's say, some player cards and you're going to draw those graphs, you're going to put Mabel, you know, maybe like 9 for 10 on, on aggression. But when it comes to defense, you're going to yeah. give him like a, a 5 or 6 or something out of 10. Because, because there's gravity doing today? Because both Blood Run and Sinister, we saw some key moments where you know, he had to be great on his defensive game. And that's where we saw Pavel make all of his frags. Yeah, Pavel's definitely a better defensive player than Mabel. But it's still, it's been an excellent series. TDK, once again, my prediction reigns true. I, I, said, I was, ho I I was hoping you one. wouldn't bring it up. I said two <laughs> on three in a row. I am on fire over here. Fire. This is just the lucky studio for me. Fire. All right, well. That's it, man. I, 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 I don't really know. I'm, I'm, gonna try to, I'm trying to think of how to knock you down a peg, because I think you're, get, you're, you're no, getting what? a bit... A bit Bit too confident now. All these Shut correct your face. predictions. Shut your face. <laughs> oh man. I fair play though, Pavel. He made it through. Dude. He defended himself. I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm changing the topic from you. I know. I know you're trying to knock me down a peg, but you'll find your chance because me and production are gonna knock you down a peg. <laughs> oh don't god. Don't you worry. I don't want to find out what that's gonna be, but apparently something will go down. Anyway, that's uh, mm. one more match. That was a quarter final, so we had the best three. We're gonna be moving forwards in the tournament. Of course, as you did allude to some awesome games that are coming up in the future. What was it, Evil uh, Evil Ash? Oh, I think Pavel's Cypher now Ash. into the Cypher semifinals, Ash. so Pavel should go against Evil, providing Evil's winning all those games, which I think most of us think is gonna happen. Uh, Ash versus Cypher are kind of set to play each other in the semis, unless, of course, there's hiccups there. But hopefully we'll get a chance to look at the brackets. And uh, we'll back with you soon as we're going to go on a break. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We'll see you in just a moment.